I got to ask a great question. Why do I use tied knocking points with my D loop? And is a D loop okay to use without tied knocking points? In my opinion, it is critical to have tied knocking points. And I say this for a few reasons. One of the reasons is a tied knocking point is going to be lighter than a brass knocking point. It's going to actually have some forgiveness too if your serving ever changes, if all of a sudden something starts to move where you start to pinch a little bit on the arrow, that thread is going to be more forgiving than the brass. It's also lighter, so you're going to gain speed by having this, and you're also going to have less string vibration. But your knocking points are literally the foundation to the accuracy of that arrow. Because here's the thing, on a bow, if a knocking point moves, your impact will change. And I'm talking micro adjustments, half a mil, easily going to see a difference. If your arrow rest position ever changes, also, it's the same as moving a knock. What you do to the back, the front does the opposite. So if that front comes down, it's just like raising the back or vice versa. Those cannot move. And it's so important to get them in the right spot to begin with. We do a lot to paper tune. We do a lot of, some people are doing French tuning or walk back tuning. A lot of people are doing bear shaft tuning. And with all these comes these super fine micro adjustments. Now, if you do not use tied knocking points, then taking a D loop off and then having to figure out exactly where to have that arrow so that you don't change even a micro adjustment and then have to tie a knot like that on two sides and crimp them into position so that it's secure and it's not going to come undone and hurt you and to get it into the exact position that you've spent all this time tuning a bow to get it's never going to happen you literally restart the process every time you have to change a knock position so if your D loop essentially is your knock, then you cannot move that at all. Another thing that you can think about is a lot of people as they shoot their D loop changes. Some people carry their bow around their D loop and sometimes you see them get turned around. Well, if you take a D loop and you keep turning it around, you can see it's going to thread with the serving direction. So you can see there's already space there. If I didn't have a tied knocking point, then I would have just moved my knock position at full draw. However, because I have tied knocking points, that position is fixated. If this D loop moves, I'm not moving the knock position. And the other thing is, if I all of a sudden decide I don't want a pink D loop, well, I can cut this one off, put on a black D loop, and my knocking points are still exactly the same. Or if I change releases, I go from uh, shooting a, th a thumb trigger to where now I might want to shoot a hinge, and my hinge head's a little bit shorter, so I want to change my D loop just a little bit. Well, you can do that without changing the tune of the whole bow. So I personally would encourage you to find someone, especially a shop that chooses tied knocking points and then puts a D loop around them because the hard earned tune of your bow isn't going to change just because you have to change that wearable item, a D loop.